All right, uh, we're going to look at um, cross out cross forgery in one two three bridge. Uh, I was helping a friend out this morning, and uh, I've noticed one thing which led to another. So um, we're going to we cross out cross forgery, inject uh, an A record into my domain, or one of my domains. So if I am logged in, well, let me just go to. Um, where are we at? I don't know how it's just show you the existing records and let's edit this a little bit. So what I want to do is change that to the gentleman hackers club.com, which is my old domain. The gentleman hackers club.com, yeah, that's good. Save, get rid of Curtis. Curtis works at 123 Reg. I've emailed him this. So if we look at my existing managed DNS and in advanced, uh, we will notice there are no derps. No derps. Go back to my control panel. Save that, yeah. And then let's uh, now obviously this isn't how you attack somebody across that request for tree. This is just burps proof of concepts generate, which is bloody good. Um so how have you introduced it uh, and submit? So we get is success equals one, which is good. And then if we go back into our control panel, go back into the domain, stop spying on my domains, you perverts. Gentleman Hackers Club, manage. And then we go to, uh, uh, where am I at? Uh, manage DNS records. Then we go into advanced. So. Scroll a little bit. Scroll a little bit. Uh, what have we got here? We've got a derp record. It's <laughs> pointing to Disneyland. If we go derp dot derp. I don't know how quick this will work. It takes us to Disneyland. So uh, that's just a sort of polite way of doing it, but uh, I know that there's a lot of sneaky tricks that you can do with uh, domain records, especially for bad guys. Plus, they're your settings and nobody else should be changing them. Um, and it's important that uh, it's kept that way. And I've got some eggs boiling, so this is the end of the video-y thingamajig. Uh, thanks.